Hello friends, and welcome to Rays of Hope, light from God's holy and precious word to carry us through these dark times of unrest. And friend, there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's precious word. Let me invite you today to pick up this light, God's word, Turn with me over to the book of 1 John, 1 John chapter number 2. We'll look at verse number 15 as our text verse of Scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessing to the reading his wonderful word today. Well, today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled, Having Spiritual Sensibility. You know, as I begin to think about this particular verse of Scripture, there are certain elements of daily life which are not sinful in themselves, but which have a tendency to lead a man to sin if they're abused. Abuse little, literally means extreme use and in many instances overuse of things lawful can become sin. Now ambition is an essential part of character but it must be fixed on lawful objects and exercised in proper proportion. My friend, the necessities of life and taking care of one's family is absolutely essential. But this can degenerate into anxiety and worry if you're not careful. And then as Christ reminded us, the cares of this life can choke the spiritual seed in the heart. Making of money is essential for daily living. But money making is out to degenerate into money loving love of money is the root of all evil. And then the deceitfulness of riches can enter the heart and spoils our spiritual life. Much so-called worldliness in Christian circles is misunderstood. My friend, you cannot confine it to a particular rank, to a particular walk, or circumstances of life, and say that one person is spiritual more spiritual, and then another person is unspiritual or not spiritual at all. Worldliness is actually a spirit, an atmosphere, an influence permeating the whole life in human society, and it needs to be guarded against and constantly guarded against. Friends, walk in the spirit of the Lord, and you'll see Jesus. That's one of the most important things that you can do is walk in the Spirit of the Lord. So have spirit, spiritual sensibility. Don't get so wrapped up in the things of this world that can cause your spirituality to disintegrate. Stay wrapped up in Jesus. Walk in His Spirit so that you can see Him and that He'll lead your life, guide your life, and direct your life. Friends, walking in His Spirit is one of the most important things that you'll ever do because it keeps you focused on Him. Pray with me. Father, we thank You so much for Your wonderful Word today. And help us, O oh God, to always walk in the Spirit of the Lord that we may be able to see the path that You would have us to try. You'll always keep us on the straight and narrow and the right road, O oh Lord, because broad is the road that leads to destruction, and we certainly don't want to travel there on. God, help us use spiritual sensibility, knowing what's right and wrong. Help us never to twist right and wrong and try to make wrong right and right wrong. Help us with our spiritual sensibility. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today and that you'll use it for God's
His glory. Walk in the Spirit of the Lord. You'll see Jesus. God bless you today, my friend. Have a wonderful day.